Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. In this video, we will discuss how to utilize interrupt statements to allow the execution of a user-defined subroutine in response to an interrupt event. Interrupt statements are included in a program when a subroutine needs to be performed as a reaction to a hardware interrupt signal. Interrupts are scanned at 4000 Hz, and when executed, the main program will be suspended and the user-defined subroutine will be executed. The program will then resume at the point it was interrupted. Our program includes a continuous while wind loop that will start the motor's velocity at 100 RPM as long as the drive is active. Both the high and low positions of the digital input switches 1 and 2 will be used to interrupt the while wind loop to either increase or decrease the velocity. These interrupt conditions are enabled previous to the while wind loop and are continuously monitored. In the interrupt routine section of the programming environment, we can see two separate outlined areas, each include two interrupt statements. The first two interrupt statements determine that when either the high or the low position of the digital input 1 switch is activated, the velocity will increase by 10.5 RPMs with a limit at 3000 RPMs. The second interrupt statement establishes a decrease in velocity by 10.5 RPMs to a limit of 100 RPMs when either the high or low position of the digital input switch 2 is activated. It is important to note that after an interrupt is triggered, it is automatically disabled until the interrupt signal is detected again in your program. For more information, check out other 2-Minute Emotion segments or sign up for one of our AKD Basic classes at www.comorgan.com.